Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, check this out. Uh, let me talk about, you know, the other guy, you know, in the welterweight division. Uh, let's talk about Terrence Bud Crawford. Man, real talk. I think based off what happened tonight, basically it's about momentum. It's about who's hot, who's not. I think Bud Crawford is up next. I think he needs to dominate Amir Khan. I think he needs to dominate from beginning to end, and I think he needs to try to stop Amir Khan as soon as possible. You know, I said maybe he needs to stop it within eight rounds, but I think if he can stop Amir Khan and basically dominate the fight, you know what I'm saying? Once again, you have a back and forth as far as, you know, who's the guy. I still have Crawford ahead of Errol Spence for number one pound for pound. But Errol Spence <laughs> moved up the ladder tremendously. And once again, I don't give a fuck about no Lomachenko fans. I, I really don't. Because, like I said, anybody with common sense, and like a lot of the other subs, say anybody with common sense know Lomachenko ain't pound for pound, never won. Lomachenko has never fought nobody the caliber of Mikey Garcia. Errol Spence beat Mikey Garcia down. Once again, Lomachenko does not have one pound per pound best fighter on the planet except maybe Ringo. And a lot of people didn't think much of Ringo. You know what I'm saying? But they'll use that to make an argument. You know what I'm saying? And But keep in mind, Ringo only had like shit, I can't even, less than 20 fights in himself. But Mikey Garcia had 40 fights in. Going into the, you know, Errol Spence was his 40th fight. So that's why Errol Spence dominating and beat Mikey Garcia is way more special than Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? So basically, just stop it with the Lomachenko, the best fighter on the planet. I think after tonight, nobody will honestly be able to say that. Real talk. Nobody. But getting back to Crawford, Crawford need to for real he need to dominate Amir Khan he need to get in there and get off because like I said before it's all about momentum now as far as negotiations go for overall fight that's totally different elephant in the room but as far as making an argument about who's the best fighter on the planet yes Amir Khan has already been knocked out before you know what I'm saying but keep in mind Terrence Crawford then moved up several weight classes to get to this point well not several he didn't moved up a few weight classes so i think he needs to dominate amir khan and keep in mind the difference between errol spence and terrence crawford terrence crawford has been undisputed now i want to say to the diehard errol spence fans please don't come on here being disrespectful don't come on here with that crawford ain't fought nobody shit don't come on here being like uh you know what i'm saying for real don't come on here being being like Triple G fans. Let's have an honest discussion, okay? Let's act like adults. Anybody come on here saying something stupid, I'm going to get rid of your ass. Let's talk like adults, for real. That's all I'm saying. And I'm, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm different from everybody else, you know, with the with, with the YouTube channel. Let's have an adult conversation. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, Terrence Crawford. Come on, for real. That's all I'm saying. I think Terrence Crawford, like I said, he need to do some serious damage to Amir Khan. You know what I'm saying? He needs to hurt him and get him up out of there so he can continue the argument that he's the best fighter on the planet. Because like I said, Errol Spence with his performance tonight, he creeped up on Crawford tremendously. He, I mean, like I said, I have Errol Spence number two. You know what I'm saying? And then I have Canelo number three. So, you know. It is what it is, but real talk, I'm out.